UI and UX became one of the main aspects that every product designer must become better at during some point of their career, especially when we talk about creating digital platforms and interactive products. If you are a UI or UX designer, you should be familiar with prototyping, which is a way of giving the client a live experience of their product before the coding starts. It allows you to add animations, transitions, and a better user experience to your digital product, which will build the trust you need with your client and allows you to give a preview to the developers on how to make the final product. Today we're going to talk about Protopy, which is a tool that helps you prototype your user interface designs and make sure the user is enjoying their experiences using your product. The tool covers a wide range of digital products, so whether you want to prototype a game on a desktop or website or a mobile device, Protopie has you covered. It is used by big names all around the world, such as Microsoft, HBO Max, Electronic Arts, Ubisoft, Google, and many others. It has different plans that can be suitable for different people. First of all, you can try it for free. The free version is totally free with no strings attached, but it is also very limited. Still, it allows you to explore the tool and if you like, you can get the pro plan for $67 a month on a yearly plan or $79 a month for the monthly plan. Additionally, you can get a special enterprise plan if you have a company. This plan is tailor-made for multiple teams. But here is the kicker. Protopie offers our viewers a dedicated discount code as well as an offer of 30% discount on a monthly and yearly pro plans. Now let's explore some of Protopie's features. First things first, with Protopy, you can explore both low fidelity designs that are quick and easy to make, but also high fidelity ones for a more comprehensive and deep look at your designs. For the latter, Protopy provides you with many features to make your design as realistic as possible. These features include, but not limited to, native keyboard, advanced effects and transitions, dynamic iterations and sensors like tilt and 3D touch. Now, if you have an arsenal of design tools that you work with and alternate between in your design process and need a flexible way to switch between tools, fear not, because Protopie seamlessly integrates with other design tools. For instance, it is possible to import your designs from Figma, in addition to Adobe XD and Sketch in just mere seconds with the help of plugins. On top of that, there is no coding needed to do prototyping with Protopie. This can save you a lot of time and effort, as well as help you effortlessly make changes until you are satisfied with the end result. The whole no-coding business can really be your knight in shiny armor if you are dealing with a particularly difficult client. In addition to all of this, if you want to preview your prototyping on mobile devices, whether iOS or Android, you can do so using Protopie Player, a free companion app to the Protopie Studio. You can open your designs using a link by connecting to Protopie Studio or to the cloud or even Protopie Player itself when you have locally saved designs. Another great thing about Protopie is its versatility. The tool allows you to explore all kinds of designs no matter their platform. You don't have to switch between prototyping tools just to see what your design looks like, I mean on a mobile device versus a desktop. Protopie allows you to connect the hardware and APIs on mobile devices, make extremely high fidelity prototypes that look and act just like the real deal. It also allows you to use a native keyboard on your prototype, in addition to voice assistance, multi-touch gestures, and much more. Hey Audrey, how are you doing in Barcelona? It does not stop there. It can also be used in prototyping car UX and automotive HMI. Its workflow is tailor-made for this specific type of user interface. Protopy keeps with their ever-changing and advancing technologies and knows that nowadays most cars have a double display. And it makes this into consideration and allows you to test any interactions between the car displays seamlessly and quickly. It also offers a physical button to visually display linking. For instance, the dynamic reaction of the speedometer to the pressing of the accelerator. Another thing that Protopie covers is TV and production prototyping. For example, it allows you to either connect a remote control to a computer or use an infrared remote control with an Arduino receiver and create and test customized interactions and use the directional pad, touch remotes and gestures. Another area covered by Protopie is games, whether it be mobile, desktop or console on the Xbox or PlayStation. Your prototypes can be played and tested by any controller you like or even using multi-touch gestures. 
I mean whatever floats your boat. Nowadays, games are available on a plethora of platforms and Prototype keeps that in consideration, so it allows you to prototype across video game devices and consoles seamlessly. Now, talking about the learning curve, you might be wondering if it is easy to learn this feature-rich tool. Well, we have real good news for you. Protopi has a plethora of learning resources that covers all levels to master this tool. For instance, you can check out Protopi School. When you create an account, the website even asks you to indicate your level of Protopi mastery and what you make designs for, and indicates how many hours and on which level are the courses on the website. The school has plenty of courses, from crash courses with 6 hours and 20 lessons to even the ability to request a specific training for your specific needs. Protopi also has a dedicated YouTube channel full of informative and educational videos that cover all kinds of topics from general concepts to specific things. The tool also has of course documentation. You can be sure to find every bit of information you need. This is the case if you want to go straight to the point. Last but not least, Protopi has a community of thousands of members on Discord in addition to Slack. You can find and connect with people who want to make the same things as you and you can discuss and share knowledge. And who knows, maybe you can collaborate on a passion project. You can also check out their community showcase to see what fellow users have been making lately. And that's it for today's video. We hope you can find Protopi useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.